Hey, Mini Fash, 27th of June, 2019. And the last couple days have just been an outpouring of stuff that I cannot even begin to, to tell you about. And But I plan on it. I'm, I'm going to try and sit down later on and really hash this out, okay? I mean, these notes are all within the last two days, and it's just insane. And it's all about this pride, you guys. And it's, this pride month is coming to an end, okay? They, they needed a whole month to express their pride, all right? On 6.30, they'll have their giant parade in New York City. And like I say, there's a ton of things that I want to uh, share with you, but I just can't do it right now. But one thing I do want to share is about this parade. And it, how where it begins in New York City and where it ends is just amazing. They come down Fifth Avenue and practically go through the Arch uh, of Washington, which we know as just this evil monument, another one of their monuments. And now their Stonewall Inn is now a national monument. Okay, this this place, this Stonewall has quite literally become their temple. This is their shrine. This is what they worship, okay? The Stone Wall, 1969, when the rebellion began, okay? And I just have to show you this. It's 50 years, the Pentecost, the, the seven sevens, all these things play into this, right? But this place, the Stone Wall, is located at number 5153 Christopher Street in New York City, okay? And this will be one of the stops along the parade route. This stuff is just amazing, you guys, but think about this. The Stone Wall. Do you remember last year there was an incident in Israel at the Temple Mount where this massive stone fell from the wall, the Western Wall, which, by the way, WW2323, and it happened on the 23rd of July, okay? Now, get a load of this. When that block fell out of the wall, which we can look at this for a second because, I mean, this is prophetic. This is something that I know in my spirit is quite something to behold, <laughs> all right? So, that was as of the 30th when they hold their parade june 30th that stone falling out of the wall on july 23rd was exactly 49 weeks to the day seven sevens you understand the feast of weeks the pentecost the 50th day all of these things come into play here 343 days and if you look up 343, both in Hebrew and Greek, you're going to find that it's pretty interesting. It's calamity and destruction. You see what I'm saying? And in the Greek, it is to unveil, to open, taken away. This is crazy, you guys. But this is real. And this is happening. And this parade ends on 23rd Street and 7th Avenue. I mean, just look at this. I, I have to show you these things. It's so crazy to me. If I can find this right here. See, it ends on 23rd Street and 7th Avenue. 723. The stone fell out of the wall on 723. And <laughs> it was right after Tishbiav, which is the Jewish 9-11. And the Hebrew 723 is from the Hebrew 717, which means pluck up, which is what is going to happen. God is going to separate his from the fire that is coming upon the earth. Judgment is coming. So I hope you're in Christ because you're not appointed to this wrath, to this fire, if you're in Christ. Okay, the 23rd Street and 7th Avenue. The route itself is a total of 2.1 miles, 777, lightning from heaven, which is equal to 3,666 yards. That's just the way it is. The United States, I'm telling you, is in for judgment. If you look at the United USA numerologically, 
you'll see that it's a 3, 1, 1. That's what it is. You can pull your double 13 out of that. But it led me to Isaiah 3, 11, where it talks about Sodom. And woe to the wicked. It shall not be good with them. Okay, and you got to understand, our Bill of Rights, which was created to, to express legitimate liberty, and again, there are different types of liberty. While they promise them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption. Liberty is freedom, both legitimate or licentious. What's licentious? Well, <laughs> it's lacking legal or moral restraints, especially disregarding sexual restraints in an uncontrolled and socially unacceptable way. But now that we're in an upside-down world, this no longer fits the description because it's become the acceptable way. You're being forced to accept their licentious liberty. You see what I'm saying? And this is what they're seeking. They're, they're not seeking anything other than licentious liberty. And they're about to have their pride march. What comes before destruction? And we've all seen this before. Pride goeth before destruction. And a haughty spirit before a fall. And this is about to wrap up this pride month. Okay? You see what I'm saying? I hope so. There, there's so much more to share with this. But our, this Bill of Rights, designed from the beginning to be used to destroy legitimate liberty. You understand? This is all Satan's rebellion. Just like the extinction rebellion we see going on in the world. Okay? Uh, for climate change. This is how the devil works. You got to understand, when you want uh, zero carbon, what you're saying is you want zero you. Because you are carbon. When they tell you we want zero carbon emissions, that means they want to eliminate you. You understand? And again, there's so much more to share with this, but I had to show you this uh, because it's just crazy. This stone wall and the stone falls out of the wall <laughs> literally 49 weeks ago. This is crazy. 343 days. And I got, I got all this stuff ready to show you guys, but things have gotten kind of busy around here, you know what I mean? So I got to tend to things, uh, but I wanted you to see this because the 723, the 717, this is, it's on, it's on. We are in the final days. It really is true. And I pray you know Jesus Christ. I really hope you're in his spirit because it's the only thing that's going to bring you any sanity any truth and save your literal soul you understand what i'm saying we are in fact abraham right now when he was pleading to god if, if there are at least 10 lord will you spare your judgment and and look you can find it in genesis 18 between verses 23 and 32 the mirror of itself you see what i'm saying because the world is basically a mirror of the truth. That's what it is. The flesh. The duality. The opposite. You need to be reborn in the spirit of Christ. So, there's that. In my random Bible verse, which just blew me away. I pray on these random Bible verses. And when it comes out and tells me, So they that are in the flesh cannot please God. And that's all this whole pride thing is about. Is the flesh licentious liberty it's insane you guys much more to share but i'll be back to do that look some of these things up if you're so inclined if anything in these notes is usable to anyone it's yours take it it's all of ours god gives us this stuff to share with each other no one owns it but god you understand anyway y'all have a great day i'll catch up with you later peace and grace many fish Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. 
For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 